Okay, first of all, the search in the app drawer has become very useful. So now when you look for an app, it will also show you associated shortcuts. So you can take actions within the app a lot faster. So let's say I search for camera. So I'll also see various camera modes that I can quickly get into. And just like that, there are many One UI 6 new features that I'll talk about in this video. Also, towards the end of the video, I'll tell you when might your Galaxy smartphone get the One UI 6 update. So watch all the way to the end. Next, if you're someone who uses the crop tool from the edge panel, now when you drag, you'll see a magnified version of where your finger exactly is for more precision cropping. So yeah, something that could be useful. Next, you can now swipe down notifications from the top left corner and all your settings from the top right corner just like in the iPhone. And to set it up, go into edit, then into quick settings, instant access and just make sure that this is turned on. Now with One UI 6, Samsung has added something called as Auto Blocker under security and privacy. It's going to be turned off by default but highly recommend that you turn it on because it's going to protect your phone from attacks that you actually may never be prepared for. Okay, next. Now, let's say you long press an image and you get the option to share. You will actually see a lot more options. So earlier you would just see nearby and copy image, but now you also get the options to send it to a device nearby or generate a QR code for it. Okay, now let me share a couple of tricks associated with your gallery. So now if you're sharing photos, uh, the phone will recommend any adjustments that you might need to make to make it better. So it'll analyze real time and tell you whether you should remaster it or whether you should tilt it just to make it better before you send. Also, if you've got an image in your subject and you long press it, you'll get the option to save it as a sticker, which you can then access through the keyboard. So whoever you're you know, messaging, you can just access that sticker from the emoji list under the gallery header. And yeah, just use it like that. Next, if you swipe up on a picture, the phone will recommend any kind of improvements that's possible for that picture. So, you know, in this case, it knows that you can apply separate background effects because it was a portrait photo. And these options are dynamic. So depending on the picture, it's going to suggest changes. So in this case, it's remaster or object eraser. And if I'm not looking good and if I want to remove myself, I can totally do that. What a fabulous job. Now let's say I edited a picture. So this is what it looks before and that's after. Now I could just go ahead and copy all the adjustments and edits I made to various factors, right? Like my sharpness, white balance, color contrast and apply it to any other picture just like that. And there you go. Looks wonderful. And of course, I could actually just select multiple pictures and apply the same edits I copied to all of these pictures in one go, something they picked up from the iPhone. Next, with One UI 6, Samsung has introduced an inbuilt video editor called Studio. So now if you select video files and tap on movie, you'll get a couple of options built right in. So you can access the timeline quite easily. Now, under project settings, you'll be able to set the aspect ratio. So depending on which platform you're making it for, you could also add soundtracks. So there's a couple of, uh, you know, like stock music that's there or you can select one that's already uh, on your phone. So you can just access your files and lay it over. Now tapping the plus icon on the left will give you the option to add a blank clip or any other image or video that you wish to add to the timeline. You can obviously make all the adjustments, speed ramping, filters and all of those things while you can also add transitions between two clips. So all in all, there's a comprehensive video editor that's built right into the phone now. And speaking of videos, so if you make an edit to the video, so let's say you change anything, you add a filter or you change the contrast, exposure, anything, and you go ahead and save it, you now get a couple of options, which is first save as copy, which wasn't there. And you can also set which resolution you want it in. You can downscale it and you can choose the extension, like which format. So really good video editing wise. Next, there's a really good change in the camera settings. If you go into advanced intelligent options, which of course you will only see after One UI 6 hits you, there's an option that lets you click pictures in succession very rapidly. So here's a before and after just for you to see what happens when you shift from maximum to minimum. And next, I really love this new camera widget or shortcut, which gets you quickly into the camera mode that you wish to get into. And so if I'm in a low light situation, I can quickly get into low light mode directly just like that. Or if I want to quickly take a portrait shot, I click on it and I get into portrait mode right there. And it's really easy to set it up. So if you go into widgets, into camera, you'll see the shortcut right there, drag and you know drop it outside. Now you can give it a name and then you can set any of these modes for the rear and the front camera. So totally up to you. And once you do, you can just save it and it'll land on your home screen. And lastly, within the camera, it's become a lot easier to quickly switch between, you know, whatever photo resolution that you want to opt for. Of course, you've got to have a camera that supports multiple resolution. And even in terms of video, it's so much easier to move between different frame rates and different resolutions that you can shoot at. 
it's so much better usability wise. And lastly, let me run through a couple of changes that have been known for a while. So the notifications are now separate cards and even within an app, it's all separately presented. It does take more space and I am not a fan of this change, but you know, I'll grow into it. And no, it's not as green by default, it's a theme. So here's the one that's without the theme. So, you know, you get the idea. Now, another thing that has been popularly known uh, for a while now through One UI 6 betas is how the controls have been laid out. So I love the new arrangement and the grouping. It's very logical. So all your display settings in one place, very easy for me to quickly switch to dark mode. Uh, you've got these beautiful cards now, which are very clean. So for Wi-Fi, for Bluetooth, you know, the listing is very neat and clean. As I said, switching to dark mode is so much simpler. I no more have to keep looking for it because that's one setting I use a lot. And yeah, just the overall grouping, it's absolutely wonderful. The other obvious change that has been talked about is how the music player in the notification tray now has this animated uh, now playing sort of a feel to it. It's really good looking, uh, but it doesn't serve any purpose. And also you can now move around the date and time widget uh, on the lock screen pretty much anywhere and it automatically justifies itself to the left, to the right edge or the center. And that's true for pretty much all lock screen clock types. And lastly, guys, if you're interested in knowing when your Galaxy device might receive the One UI 6 update, so here's a very tentative chart uh, that I've collected for you guys. And obviously, it's going to vary by region. It's not like all regions are going to get it at the same time. Also, depending on how recent your device is, uh, you'll get it faster. So if it's very old, it's going to probably uh, be received by you a lot later. Also, there's no information on Galaxy M series as of now. So sorry about that, guys. But yeah, this is pretty much uh what we're looking at right now and that's it guys those were some features of one ui6 that i found especially very useful while there's a ton of other things but yeah these are the ones that i think were really good anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video and if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification icon and mark all it really helps the channel grow i'll see you guys in the next one